This is Don Wheeler. Hi, Don. How are you doing? Hi. And Ben Schneider. Yep. Not Snyder. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm Snyder. He's Schneider. <laughs> um, you guys are from Clark State Community College. Right. And uh, I'm pretty familiar with your program there. I visited, actually visited your school. I know your, uh, your, some of your faculty and, and some of the people you're working with. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about what you're doing now? And maybe, um, maybe first, uh, Don, you're not the you're not a traditional uh, community no. college student. Yeah, so maybe, not. maybe you could talk a little bit about your background. Okay, I, I actually went to Clark State uh -huh. um, back in the '70s and took me a little while to get my first degree, but I have yeah. a degree in mechanical engineering from Clark State. Uh -huh. And I then spent the next 30 years working with engine bearings for um, um, a manufacturer here in Ohio. Um, doing it all the whole spectrum of that and then when the company left the country I came back I decided that I needed to go back to school and change my career in which case I came back and I'm going with my mechanical degree the best thing for me to do is do networking and infrastructure and computers because everybody's working that way uh, so I've now into my second year of a computer networking degree and I'm to the point now where working with high performance computers I love that and it was it's it's another way for me to look at maybe combining my two career or my two different areas of education and see what I can do you know see if I can find somebody out there that has that kind of a, a need yeah now now um how was it coming back to school after being away <laughs> how, how, was, how was that I tell you what, the biggest problem for me, getting older, my memory's not quite as good as it used yeah. to be. Yeah, I know. That. And <laughs> it's been a little tough, but I've been able to keep the grades that I got the first time around. Yeah. So I'm struggling a little bit more, but I'm still getting what I need. So good, good. And how about you, Ben? What's your? Uh, you're a little younger. Um. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You don't have any gray hair. I don't no. see any. Yeah, I nice. got a few in there. Plus, you got all your hair too. <laughs> <laughs> You still have all your hair, too, Don. Most of it. I'm losing mine. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I came straight from high school into the computer networking and cybersecurity program at Clark State. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm in my third of two years at Clark State. Um, took a few courses that I was interested in at the beginning, and so now I'm playing catch up, kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, High performance computing and, and computers in general and securing networks and things of that nature have always really interested me. That's good. And now, now you both um, have you both done internships? Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we were have. both on the internship this summer. And you are uh, interning with a high performance computing company, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 And uh, which is pretty unique, I think. High, you don't see a lot of high performance computing uh, types of internships and programs in the United States. What kind of uh, what kind of work were you doing over the summer? Go ahead. We were um, we had two clusters um, identical. Um, we were working in collaboration with each other. We had a team out at Pacific Northwest National Lab. And what's a what's a what's a cluster? A Maybe clus you could. a cluster is um, a group of computers all managed by basically a central computer that acts as the manager, um, and it sends out jobs, um, a large chunk of mathematical problem, um, and it splits it up and um, you can use it to something that would take your home PC four days to compute. It could be seconds. Really? Yeah. So, so basically, what it, what it really, if you want to put it in layman's terms, is Take a thousand laptop computers yeah. and hook them all together. No kidding. So, and, so and to be able to work the same problem with with those thousand computers instead of one. So, so you were working with clusters that large, huh? You, you no, our, ours were on a small scale. Uh -huh. We were in less than twenty. Both both groups had less than twenty nodes, um, which is the same as a processor on yeah. your laptop. Yeah. And do you build? Are you building the clusters yourself? Yes, we built the clusters ourselves. Wow, so you took 20 computers and sort of well, made them all into one big Yeah, computer. it was, it's a little bit different, but yes. Uh -huh. um, the technical part is that we 
all we had was basically your processor plus a little bit more. It's not like having every one of them didn't have a monitor. Right, or a keyboard. And, uh, or right. right. So, yeah. so you just can interconnect everything, uh -huh. run them through a switch, and then using the software, which is the management part of it, we would then, you know, um, run a benchmark program, which is called an impact. And as we'd run that, we'd then compare the two and usually run two or three tests of each. Because one test usually isn't, you know, sufficient. Yeah. So, yeah. And then you would get your results from that. And, and we were doing an actual comparison between the two. And what we found was it's very similar. The two, the two different software programs and management programs are very, very close as far as their total performance. Yeah, yeah. That's we found nice. the switch interconnects and stuff like that made as much difference as anything else. Really? So you need nice high speed. Yes. High speed uh, switches with good solid connectivity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and if we'd have got into management of those switches, we probably could have done even more. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of variables that still need to be uh -huh. um, explored. What, what transmission, what we're using for media, was it copper? Were we using copper? Um, yeah, we were using Connected copper yeah. um, at Avatech where, um, in Springfield. Yeah, why don't you talk? Okay, go ahead, and then I want you to talk about Avatech a little bit. Um, at Avatech, we use basic run of the mill Ethernet um, that you would find in any computer. Um, and we used a uh, 10100, which is your basic. Um, what you probably have in your office or your home switch, uh, yeah. switch. Yeah. and then we also use a gigabit Ethernet switch at Avatech. That was our high-speed switch at Avatech. And then at P uh, Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, we use um, a uh, run-of-the-mill Netgear switch that you could just go to Best Buy and buy off the shelf. We used a brocade Ethernet switch, which is a higher Higher performance Ethernet switch. Those are both gigabit. A managed, um, so that would be the brocade would be a managed a right. switch you could manage where right. the Netgear is right. an unmanaged switch. And yeah. then we also use um, a technology called um, Infiniband. Infiniband. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Infiniband, uh, and that was our high speed, um, like our jet engine of mm -hmm. of the whole process. Okay, and. Um, Avatech. You mentioned Avatech. You want to talk a little bit about that? Maybe Don, you could. You could. Yeah, I spent start. I spent the whole time at Avatech. Uh -huh. Ben had the opportunity. He was part of the time at Avatech, and then he went to Pacific Northwest. Oh, nice. So you're and so Avatech yeah. is is a company in Springfield. Yeah. Who basically they work a lot with um, the Wright Pat. They're in uh, in Dayton. Air Force. And uh, they're Air Force Base, right? They, Wright they work with yeah. them some. Yeah. yeah. They they do a lot of. Um, jet engine design work and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And they they use a lot of high performance computing. And they use it in the in the jet engine design, right? They, they, yeah. Yes, model. So it's they, a lot of models that way. They model, yeah, and yeah. there's, uh, which requires a lot of high performance computing. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. So before they build a jet engine, they'll, they'll model it, they'll test it. it it's like any uh, testing. I spend uh, quite a bit of time in testing. Uh, and if you can do it without spending the expense of actually building the engine right. and testing that engine, you can do it virtually and do that virtual testing and then turn around when, and when everything's said and done, okay, now we'll build it because we have the optimal um, design. We'll build that and see how it works in the real world because that has to be done because sometimes they don't quite match up. Uh -huh. And so you were at Avatech and you were out in California. You guys were working together right. on the same project, right? right. You want to talk right. a little bit about what you're doing in California? Um, we, it was basically the same test uh -huh. in both locations. Um, we had the, the, um, the higher speed things. They were more like our, our development network. And, um, we were more like the production network with the, with the nicer stuff. Um, but it was basically the same test. Um, one of the goals of the internship was to see how cross-country communication works, especially in like an internship environment. Mm -hmm. And how did it work? Fairly well. Yeah. We got the yeah. goal accomplished. Yeah. There were a few hiccups. In general, it worked well. We went. We would always run into a few hiccups. But you know, when you're trying to do something like that, 
if you don't have hiccups, you're not learning yeah. anything. There's a, so, well, there's a time difference. I was, I was dealing with oh, time. That was the hardest part. That was, yeah. 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 Um, they would be at work for three hours, three hours and we, we'd just be walking into uh, work. So, um, they, it, and when, then it's like we'd have our meet, we'd have a meeting like every couple, three days. And, and um, right after the meeting, oh, we'll get with you. Okay, let's hurry because we're getting ready to leave. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so after we leave, they'd have three hours afterwards uh -huh. right. to, to work. So that was probably the most difficult part of it was getting used to that three hour time shift. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it sounds like fun. Yeah. Now, what kind of courses are you taking at, at Clark State? Well, I'm taking, right now, I'm into the Cisco. My Cisco courses, uh -huh. which is the actual management of, of networks and stuff yep. like that. Yep. Um, I've just gone through some convergence, which is the combination of data and phones and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I also have like I'm going to be taking a, a Linux class at the end, and then we have another class which everybody talks about the capstone class, yeah. where you take everything you've learned and you have the the idea is we're going to build a network from scratch. That's great. So, That's great. at least on paper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and how about you? Are you taking the same classes? Same, same? classes. Yeah. yeah. Have you taken any high performance uh, computing classes? Um, I'm actually in an internship at Clark State, uh -huh. using the stuff that we've learned and we've researched this past summer, and building a couple courses um, for the college that uh, will be taught both winter and spring quarter of this year. The, good. The actual high performance class that we took before we started our internship, we were the very first class to take those. Uh -huh. So this, you know, we were, were like the guinea pigs for, for the course and, you know, it was, it was, it's a little difficult when you have no textbook to work with yeah. and, and you're basically doing the research yourself, but that's part of the fun too is, you know, it's yeah. like, go Google it. Yeah, that, that was the way we... You know, got a lot of our information. Just go out on the internet and find out what you can find out about high performance. And you'd be surprised what's out there. Um, one of the funniest things that I found in my research is I found a Beowulf uh, cluster computer yeah, Beowulf. built out of Furbies. No kid, Furbies. Yes, ah. out of Furbies, well, and it was it was yeah. hilarious. Oh, I remember when they, when they came out, they said that thing had uh, more computing power than. One of the Mac computers at yeah. that time, I think. Yeah. And, and they've taken them now. They've taken a whole <laughs> bunch of them, connected them together, and made a high-performance cluster out of them. Well, we got. We still have four Furbies at our house. <laughs> have them in storage right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what are your plans when you when you get out of Clark State? What are you thinking? Um, I'm going to pursue a uh, bachelor's of science degree in either computer engineering, management information systems, something along that line, um, and hopefully get a job one day. <laughs> good, good, good. And mine, you, mine's more like, I need to get back to work. You know, I've now been off work for three years. Yeah. yeah. Um, the last two years, I mean, these last two years are going to be in school and learning a new trade and everything. But, um, I'm hoping to be able to take my mechanical background and my computing background or education and maybe try to find a way to com combine the two together. That's good. In that area, uh, well, you guys got hit pretty hard with the with the recession, I think. Yes. You saw a lot of manufacturing leave, but you're, you're starting to see some, some business come, come back, I think, in that part of the country. Yeah. So I think you're in a good position to, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot, there's advantage of being being sort of the first one to be that guinea pig in yeah. that course, actually. I know, uh, and, I, and, and that's what, what I found out doing this internship was the fact that I've learned so much about the new computing wave, mm -hmm. you know. In my opinion, this is like the next cutting edge, you know, because we found out that they're even going to use graphic cards, the memory on graphic cards, and put those together. No kidding. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can pull from anywhere and take anything that's that spare, like you know, and, and combine all that together to to do almost like the supercomputings that some of the places we got a we get a chance to visit some high performance yeah. computers. Yeah, and those are amazing. So yeah, it's out there, and I'm really looking forward to to being able to use some of that knowledge. Good, great.
Well, thank you both. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, and I enjoyed going out to dinner with you guys last night, even though you were sitting at the other end of the table. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, good luck, okay? Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thanks.